Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a ton of stuff to talk about in the world of jailbreaking and iOS 12. Well, if you guys have been keeping up with the jailbreak scene, you'll know just a few days ago, Jake James released a rootless jailbreak for iOS 12 all the way up to 12.1.2. Now this jailbreak has a ton of limitations, but in the last about 24 hours, tweak injection and tweak support has finally hit beta stages. So now just a few tweaks. I have like Cylinder, Noctis, Better CC 11 right here to get these awesome little layouts right there. I have like Meliore installed to get like a nice volume HUD, but really there isn't too much you can do with this jailbreak, unfortunately. It's a pain in the butt to manually install all of these tweaks via SSH and Filesa. Um, and getting everything to work correctly. Not too many tweaks are supported and there is a lot of bugs. It's a very hard process to do. So that is why I'm advising everyone to just hold off on this jailbreak and wait for the final public jailbreak utility with Cydia or some other package installer included. Now this is a major accomplishment and it's really cool some of the things you can do right now on iOS 12. I'm on 12.1.1, but really I cannot stress this enough. I'm asking everyone watching these videos, definitely do not go and try to install this or download this. This in this video is just for demonstration purposes to really give you guys an idea of what can be achieved. But as you can see, not too much. Unfortunately, there is no Cydia, there is no package installer. And when you're manually installing tweaks like this, if you don't know what you're doing, you can very easily jeopardize your iOS version and jeopardize your jailbreak. And that brings me to the final point in this video. For the longest time, Apple was signing iOS 12.1.2 and 12.1.1, but just moments before recording this video, they are now starting to close that signing window for various devices. Mine being an iPhone 10 for the GSM networks, it looks like 12.1.2 and 12.1.1 are no longer being signed meaning if I mess this device up, I can no longer downgrade or upgrade officially through iTunes. Now, for whatever reason, various iOS devices still have iOS 12.1.2, and even some cases, iOS 12.1.1 is still being signed. But again, I would be guessing within the hour, probably by the time this video is published, those firmwares will also stop being signed by Apple. So that is why, guys, just wait. I'll give you guys an update as soon as we know more when an official jailbreak utility is coming out. Definitely do not just risk this opportunity um, just to get a few tweaks running. Really, not too much is supported yet, and there isn't too much you can do um, with this developer jailbreak. So anyway, guys, that's my take on this developer jailbreak. It's an awesome accomplishment by Jake James. So congratulations to him and everyone involved in this project. Unfortunately for the average jailbreaker and for the average user, it just doesn't do too much. And it's very risky to be modifying system files manually via SSH when you just don't know too much what you're doing or if you're new to that process. Anyway, guys, some awesome things to come. I think Noctis XI looks absolutely incredible with iOS 12's kind of stack notifications right here. Um, Cylinder seems to be running perfectly fine. Um, Better CC 11 is working really well too, but unfortunately really not too many preferences load. If I go and just show you guys exactly what I have installed, if you guys are curious, these are the tweaks I've tried so far and not too many of them work. Snowboard for theming does work perfectly fine but a lot of preferences just do not load. Battery percent X, again, just doesn't even load. And again, better CC11, the tweak loads, but the preference does not load to modify anything within that. Or in contrast, Boxy loads in the preferences in the settings app, but the tweak just crashes when you try to use it. So really, it's not worth it in the end to jeopardize your chance of jailbreaking in the near future when a full-fledged jailbreak is out for iOS 12 with a package installer like Cydia. It seriously probably took me over an hour just to get these five tweaks running and get everything signed and loaded manually. It's just, it's a pain, guys. So that's just a brief look at what can be achieved with this rootless jailbreak. This is the real deal, guys. I hope everyone had the chance to 
downgrade to iOS 12.1.2 or below because a full-fledged jailbreak utility is going to be coming very soon for those firmwares. So now it is officially survival mode. Guys, do not mess up your iOS devices and just be cautious with whatever you're installing on your devices until we have a jailbreak utility released. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this quick video. If you guys are excited for a jailbreak for iOS 12 as much as I am, definitely give this video a huge thumbs up and definitely subscribe for the latest updates. But until next time, this is Tony signing out.